Hello Leo, this is going to be a reading for, I'm not going to put a time stamp on this reading, I'll date it the day I put it out, but I'm not going to uh, put a date on this one, because I'm ahead on the videos, and I don't want to get too far ahead to where people get anxious about what's coming. It's better to live in the present moment. So first of all, there's no way this can connect with every single Leo out there. So please remember that. Feel free to vice versa, masculine, feminine energy, the king and queens. I upload two videos every day, Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to subscribe, that helps our channels on YouTube that you like. If you hit the bell icon, then your phone will beep when you subscribe. And if you don't hit the phone icon or the bell icon, then your phone won't beep when you subscribe. If you subscribe and do or don't hit the button. Okay, so I'm doing a different layout. I'm going to do a past, present, future of a situation. One side you, one side your partner. Or you could possibly take all the cards for yourself or just choose a side. Also, I suggest all my viewers to have a dream journal, which when you wake up at night, write down what you were thinking, go back to sleep. Do it again when you get up in the morning. When you come home from work, read your dream journal. It might trigger the dream, but it'll just be shocking. You should keep a moon journal, too, in case you learn how you handle the moons. Because the moons affect us. We're made up of water. They control the tides of the ocean, so why would they affect us? So, I have a lot of theories. So that's one of them. A dream chart, a dream journal, a moon journal, and a birth chart journal. And you can learn a lot about yourself. So I'm going to start with the Earth Wisdom first for you, Leo. The first one is transformation number 16. This is beautiful. This is very serious transformation here. This isn't just changing something minor. This is like your soul changing. So I'm going to get the book because I'm getting better, but I'm still not as good as I'd like to be. So this says, can you see it? Mullen brings awareness and light to consciousness and understanding of one's higher purpose. Amethyst aids in transformation. Sometimes a change of habit is enough, other times only a complete transformation will do. It is time to gain a fuller understanding of your soul's purpose, and that will require transformation, a rearranging of your worldview and practices that will bring actions into line with your ideas. Reach and embrace for your highest vision of yourself. And I see the transformation already in there. So, transformation align with your soul is what this means more, which is very good. So then you have Nurture 29, which is 11. And this talks about new beginnings, talks about healing, so new doors are going to open because you've healed from something in the past. You're going to align more with what makes your heart and your soul happy. I see balance and growth in there. I wanted to look to see what sign is in there. So I feel like, do you see right over here there's a door kind of? I feel like there's a door that's going to open you don't even see that is going to bring you happiness. I see the feather in there which is being guided, fated by the divine uh, guardian or loved one helping you. So that it would be seven if you break the numbers down and this would be eleven and both those are having numbers to me. So the next one, Leo, is Grace, 14, and this is 5 if you add these numbers. This talks about your tree of life. So this talks about not berating yourself, not doubting yourself, not doing things to harm your soul, not doing things to harm your energy. You have to, I know it's hard to hold yourself in grace when you feel broken, and beat down, so to speak, by the universe or humankind or what you will. But this says that you you really need to not be hard on yourself. So this says nurture and this says grace. So I feel like some of you Leos must be being really hard on yourself. Or these two cards wouldn't have came out, cards. And so now I also feel like a lot of you are transforming that. You're changing. Something in your life is changing, Leo, where you're moving away from that not accepting your flaws or not accepting what other people didn't like about you, I feel. So now I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck, and we have the Lovers. 
So the lovers could be Gemini placement. This is right off the start, Leo. You guys always come out in each other's readings when I read for you. And look, at they came out the first card. They, it's like, I don't know what's going on between Gemini and Leos. So then the tower moment. So the tower moment happens when something is not as it should be. So the structure is faulty, so the universe will bring it down or shake it up because there's something you need to look at to correct. Five of Cups is you looking back to the past, missing somebody. You keep looking back. There's somebody in your past that you really miss, Leo. And so I see the lovers, I see the tower, and then the five of cups. So I feel like you almost can't move forward because you're hanging on to this person here. So now I'm going to go to this side over here. And feel free, if that's a masculine for you instead of feminine, switch that. So princess of coins is somebody who's stable, secure. She's very practical, very earthy. And then the world, look at this. Wow, Leo, this is aligning with your soul. This is your chakra being so open, the universe feels like they can communicate with you freely, like you're aware. You're totally aware of them coming through you to give you guidance, is what this says. That is beautiful. So then you have Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is very high intuition. So this is stability. And then your chakras aligning and being downloaded, I feel, with the divine. And this is like love for yourself. Loving yourself and loving that you have the intuition. Leo, a lot of you have intuition and you listen to it. So now I'm going to pull for back over here on this side. And you have Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a player energy, Leo. And we have the lovers, which is Gemini. And then we have the player card. So then we have the Empress. So this tells me right here, the reason this fell apart is because somebody was an empress. So if the Knight of Wands came in trying to play an empress, so it's going to be, it's going to fall apart. The universe is going to say, stop, stop right here. You don't play an empress. You don't do that. You don't come with that kind of energy and do that. So this could be somebody forgiving themselves for getting involved with that energy. This could be somebody watching the Empress to see how she behaves and acts when this tower moment happens. And they could emulate her in their life. A child, a grandchild, a niece, something like that. Ne nephew. Feel free to vice versa, the masculine and feminine again. So the sun, this is beautiful, Leo. This is you. And this is a new beginning. So you've had that a lot. Chariot is travel, happiness, healing. Your chakras aligning, your intuition is spot on. Beautiful, Leo. I almost feel like this is you over here, but you're not a player. So I feel like the player came into you, and this must be the player over here. I don't know. They could all be for you. So you decide. I just read the cards. You decide what side would be you, or if they all are. So this is Nine of Cups. This is somebody who is strong in their singleness, somebody who can stand strong being single. They don't need somebody to come in and take care of them. You see this. She's practical. She's strong. She is stable. And then here she is prideful in her knowing how stable she is and how strong she is. So then Ace of Cups. So this could be marriage, I guess, Leo. This usually doesn't represent marriage, but sometimes I do get that with the wedding card and Ace of Cups. So this is marriage. And then Nine of Coins. So this is somebody planning, organizing, making a stable foundation. So now I'm going to go back over here again. This is Eight of Coins. This is somebody who is planning and organizing as well. And they're thinking about something. So it's almost like this person wants to get rid of something. They possibly want to cut something out of their life. So Queen of Swords. Yeah, this would be somebody being guarded. Somebody wants to communicate. She wants to communicate honesty. She wants to communicate. And she's protected. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Empress. So I feel like... Okay, let's see what else comes out. 
And then we have five of coins. So I feel like you're going to go somebody. You're going towards a new beginning and you're going to look back at them. And you're not going to want to ghost them and leave them in the past. But I feel like you see a new beginning for you. And you're going to have to leave this person be in the past. So now I'll pull for over here again. This is a star card. So this is somebody who has a lifetime of love. And this could be somebody who loves themselves too. It really could be. Somebody who has a lifetime of love. They've, they're so aware of themselves that they're just in the stars with their knowledge. I do see like the northern lights in here I don't think I've ever noticed before which are happening lately. Yeah. Huh. So, okay, let me pull again. The next one is Six of Wands. Six of Wands is victory and success over lower energies. So, if there's lower energies, I guess, trying to cause problems in a marriage, I see that it's not going to be able to happen. So then we have Three of Cups. Three of Cups is happiness, family happiness, intuition, um, planning, organizing, and happiness. So now I'm going to shuffle the Terra Illuminati and pull some of those cards and kind of get clarity on these cards that are down there now. So I do shuffle all my decks before I turn the camera on. Okay, so the first one for over here is Temperance. Temperance tells me this could be faded again because I see the angel wings, the rainbow and the cup, the fluid in the cup, so liquid is touching. So this could have to do with Twin Flame. I usually don't get too much into that on my channel. There's other readers that get really deep into it because it's just so difficult. It really is. So I try to uh, just touch on it lightly. So that's what that could mean for me. Or delay. Something, the time isn't right for something, so it's not going to happen yet. So Four of Cups. Somebody is not paying attention to what's around them because they're focusing on something that didn't work out. That's sad, Leo. It really is. So Queen of Wands is, again, we get the stability. Somebody who's very stable, very happy being alone. She, If she's with somebody, she's happy, but she can totally be on her own. She doesn't have a problem. The Black Cat Bast is there, which means to me she's protected and she's getting guided and she listens to her guidance so now I'm going to pull for the other side so this is seven of swords this is sneakiness this is somebody being sneaky and death so this could be Scorpio placement but this is usually when something ends and something new um, one door closes another door opens so I am seeing, um, let me look with this, I'm seeing a flower for some reason, a red flower, and like a white flower, which would be passion. So I don't know if passion is ending, I'm kind of seeing yin and yang balance. In this picture, ooh, I'm seeing a clock. And some emotions. So what else? Gosh. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. Sorry for taking so long. So I see that their sneakiness is going to cause something to end. I really do, or change. So then Prince of Swords. So Prince of Swords is somebody coming in to communicate. It needs Something needs to be talked about. So let's pull again. So the next one is the Chariot, which has come up twice. You have that here in the sun. So you have the Chariot twice, which is communication or travel. New beginning. The Hierophant is marriage. To me, again, it's legal. Doing everything the right way. A traditional marriage. And then you have strength, which is your card, Leo, infinity. That came down here. I see a new beginning. you mi missing somebody. you ghosting somebody. But you have strength, and you're moving forward in your power. So moving to the other side is the high priestess. 
So, whoever is sneaky, again, I I said this earlier, um, whoever is sneaky and tries to get one over on somebody who's a high priestess, you should be able to tell people's vibration. Try really hard to feel people's vibration when you go up and meet them or you hang around them. See if the hair on your neck stands up. See if the hair on your arms stand up. See if you get just really weird feelings like a weird headache or a, a pain in your stomach or your solar plexus. There's just... A lot of intuition can be downloaded to catch the sneakiness. I feel like there's so many positive cards here and then that sneakiness is like, wow, what is going on there? Because it, you're so smart. So I, I kind of feel like you're going to be mad at yourself if you didn't see something. So Three of Pentacles is growth and promotion to me. Your coin's growing. It could be that you worked with this person as well. So then Three of Cups, it came out twice. So you have Three of Cups, Page of Swords, and Three of Cups. So somebody wants to communicate happiness and talk about it. There's a lot of communication. It could be three um, of the same masculine or feminine energy communicating. So now I'm going to um, pull the past, present, future. So I see the Hermit card does come up here. A lot of singleness. The Hermit card could represent Virgo. And Virgo... Um, some of you could be Cuspers where it changes. Cusper is somebody who's born in the three-day grace period. It changes from one sign to the next. So let's go with the past of the situation or relationship is growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So there was a lot of communication, a lot of solar plexus growth here, which is your feelings, a lot of communication. So the present situation is perseverance. <coughs> I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. I see healing from love in there. Healing from love and pushing forward, not giving up when the times get hard, understanding that growth and perseverance will bring good things. So what do we think the future card is? Because those two are pretty good. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So this tells me the situation you're in or the relationship right now, Leo, is going to grow. Your self-esteem is going to be more positive. I feel like growth perseverance and self-esteem is all going to grow and bring abundance to this relationship. Just be kind to yourself is what this says. You're transforming. So I almost feel like you're going a little softer. The universe is trying to soften you up a little. Not to be so much of a lioness is what I'm kind of getting. But it's time for you to lighten up a little. You don't have to be so lioness. <laughs> So now I'm going to pull two of the Whispers of the Ocean cards for you, Leo. So a lot of spiritual people around you, it seems like. At least one person for sure. So this is keeping it in check number eight, which is infinity to me. Pay attention to what is going on around you. You might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details. So I do feel like you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to what is going on around you. And if you're transforming and growing, I feel like they're going to keep teaching you and they're going to keep giving you downloads. That's what the perseverance means. And they want you to become secure in what they're trying to teach you and download you with. And we had 8 right here. So 8 is right here and then 8. It's an infinity to me. So keeping it in check and keeping strong, um, growth, perseverance, self-esteem, I feel like, I've told you before, when they download you with information, sometimes if you're scared, they'll stop. They won't force you, but you can't go too long with a break if they really want to teach you. So facing your fears, Leo, this is you. This is the lionfish, 46, which would be a 10. 
if you add the numbers. Look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are. So I do feel you are facing your fears. This fish can puff out and he will defend his territory to a um, bigger fish like no end. But this talks about facing your fears. And this could be why you have to keep it in check. So growth, perseverance, and self-esteem and facing your fears is going to help you be more confident. And you had the, uh, I don't, I'm trying to get it without knocking all the cards down. This one was be kind to yourself. This will bring you self-esteem. Be kind to yourself. Face your fears. Keep it in check. You're moving to awareness. And once you get to a certain vibration, I told you, you're just protected. Lower energies can't even cause harm to you at all. It's just the universe is, they waste their time. So now I'm going to pull the Angel and Ancestor card for you. Two of those, Leo. So I'm just getting all this past couple weeks. All the signs are up-leveling. We're all being downloaded. Those of, who, those of us who are aware and want to be upgraded are getting upgraded. Those of who aren't aware and are just doing their own thing and focusing on whatever they're focusing on, they're not going to, they're going to miss it. So the first angel and ancestor one for you is Hermit Retreat and Recharge, and this is Virgo placement. Again, I'm feeling the Cusper situation here. So this talks about Virgos withdraw from people. When the energy gets too much and people's energy override, they retreat. They retreat, which anyone who has a high awareness is going to be overloaded very fast with other people's energy who don't know how to control energy. They just let it zip-zang, shoot all over the place, if you will, or it's just, it can be a mess. So be aware that you will have to retreat, recharge yourself, so to speak, when you're around certain people. But a lot of you already know this, but obviously... There's just so much on transformation, transformation, grace, and wasn't this one back here for you to heal or nurture yourself? There's so much about you, Leo. I can't say enough. This is all focused on you. I feel like you're up-leveling. You have to sleep the best you can, eat properly, go around positive people. Do not, um, just stay on, stay on your path. You're going to do fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so Water Guardian, this is one of my very special cards, this is really important to me, it reminds me of my sister, who's not here anymore, and that's a lot of personal information, but um, connect with your emotions, oh, this is saying that you have somebody in heaven to me, this is what this says, who is guiding you, who is pointing you in the direction, Leo, that you need to go. I can't stress enough the water and the feathers, the blue feathers, the blue sky. They're trying to communicate with you. They're trying really, really hard. They're talking to you in your ear. They're trying to get you to pay attention. So, I mean, my goodness, Leo. So you are keeping it in check. And like I said, this is connecting with your emotions. This is somebody um, in the higher realm connecting to you. This is really spiritual. I hope all you Leos really realize how spiritual this is. And for those of you who are aware, you're upgrading so much. And was this the first one I pulled? Oh no, I pulled the Hermit. Okay, I was like, what? So Virgo and Water Guardian, that is just amazing. And my sister was a Leo too. She was. That's amazing. So, yeah, I love that card. I love it. So, you're being downloaded, Leo. And I feel like there's a lot of cuspers in here. A lot of you may have your moon in Virgo. Be nice to yourself. Be nurturing to yourself. Keep yourself in check. Do not let people trigger you. Do not let people make you off balance. You are going through a period where you're becoming so aware and the more you pay attention the more you're going to learn in a speedy time reference if that makes sense like they're going to like download it boom 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 and those of us who are paying attention are going to pick it up and the people who aren't will be like oh I just picked up one thing that was cool 
and somebody else is going to be like, well, I just picked up like five things. You didn't pick up those other four things. So see what I mean? Those who are paying attention, a lot of Leos are going to be downloaded with some energy and and knowledge. And so some more than others. It depends on your level, I guess, of spirituality. So I hope this connects with a lot of Leos out there. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Leo.